What's the missing skills that people don't bring to the table? I think really understanding people. And I mean that in terms of the people that we're trying to provide opportunities for and what their needs and wants are. I think that for so long, we created programs that might not really help those people. Our social entrepreneurs are people who have been on the front lines of social change. I've learned so much from talking with them. This is Cafe Impact, and I'm Jonathan Lewis. There really is no substitute to finding a way to spend a serious amount of time in the field working in local organizations. Find a very small organization and go and volunteer your time or find a, you know, get a job with that organization and fully immerse yourself in the culture that you want to work with. Live as much as you can like them. Be with them, talk with them, listen to them. I've been a funder of rural communities. I don't know what it's like to work alongside somebody who has to make decisions every day on what to do with minuscule resources. Do you think every person who seeks a job and career changing the world needs to have a community experience like that? Always. We can get um, too comfortable in our titles and our cushy jobs and we have to have field experience, especially if we're going to do economic justice work. We need to experience and see what economic injustice looks like. Going from your university to go work at the World Bank or USAID is not what I'm talking about. If you're all in, in an entrepreneurial enterprise, you know, you, that's a completely different level of engagement than if you're in Citigroup or some other large enterprise, and you, know, you may or may not be a good employee, and the thing's going to continue without you. I think the gut part of, you know, is this thing going to sink or swim, if it's that radical, is much richer than just checking off the boxes in a, in a much more stable situation. you got to start your career by thinking about who you want to be as a person. Put yourself in a position where you're going to develop those skills and values in a really uh, intense way, and then let your career develop. For the people who haven't yet gotten in the boat, yeah. you're... Yeah. 25, you're 30, you're looking for a job. It looks like there's a lot of rivers out there. It's hard to figure out which one to take. What's the message there? Choose a boat. Take a ride. Look around and see where, where, where do you want to jump in. Say, what moves my heart? What makes me light up? And then move toward that. Even a crappy experience can actually be a, a great teacher. So if you see that pathway, as positively cumulative, you're kind of ready for almost anything. The vision I had set out for myself at 17 was different than the vision I had set out for myself at 23, and I needed a new plan at 30. The choices I had made through several jobs was getting me, and I still feel like is getting me to where I will end up. Young person is anxious to get into the space. Mm -hmm. what, what is your counsel and advice on how they should get started? Learn everything you can identify the things you care about, and then get started. Don't wait for permission. No one's going to come along and say, okay, here's your permission. <laughs>